yeah this is what the uh, aids to sunday igbowo said they would not do after you know their bill is paid and they are released these are the things they said they will not do any longer it is no more news that all the 12 sunday igbowo's aids were finally granted bail on wednesday after spending almost 33 days in the custody of the dss two things igbowo's aids should never do after their bill is paid and they are released Recall that these people were arrested on July 1st when the DSS attacked Sunday Igbo's house located in Ibadan, the capital city of Oyo State, for the offense of stockpiling dangerous weapons in the house to create a problem in the country. The DSS reportedly tried to deny their bill yesterday uh, with the fear that they might flee the country and that would affect the investigation that they were doing. Finally, the court granted. Uh, their bill with a total of 15 million naira and four shorties. He also ordered the 12 aides to remain in the custody of the, the DSS until the bill is settled. If these people were finally released and reunited with their families, they should never do these two things because it might be the beginning of a new problem for them. Well, it's coming fleeing the country. Firstly, we should note that the DSS police are still doing some investigations to find out the truth about the case they were arrested for. The court just granted them bail so as not to violate their human rights. Okay, so if they now traveled or fleeing the country, uh, is it not their right to fly and come back? Or what are these people saying? Well, I'll leave you in the answer of the comment section. Don't be too furious. These 12 Sunday go it should never try or attempt to flee the country after they have been totally freed. Hmm. If they do so, they may not go far because or before they will be arrested. The Nigerian DSS are intelligent and smart enough and know all the escape routes. If they were caught again in this action, without a doubt, it would be the beginning of a new problem for them because under the law, jumping bail is a serious offense on its own well i will leave you to decide uh, what consequences they are going to face if truly they should jump the bail well number two which is agitate for the break off of this country again if they are finally freed from the custody of the dsa they should never protest rally or agitate for the break up of our dear country again because it will just be a clear waste of time Although the situation in Nigeria may be frustrating, but the best thing as a citizen is to pray for the goodness of our country. It is far better than seeking the break up of the people that God put together. Hmm. Can you hear opinion? If they are caught again agitating for the break up of Nigeria, the outcome may not be likely, as they may face bigger problems. Maybe that's part of the conditions, or is an opinion, or what do you think about this assertion? If they really want to live longer, they should not dare the government or agitate for breakup of this country again hmm, because Nigeria is doomed. Well, what do you think about this? I would like you to drop your comments on the comment section because it has been said that 15 million naira was, hmm, was paid for their bill and they tell us bill is free. Ah, Nigeria, here we come home. The Green sang a song and his rap said Nigeria Ujojumola Nigeria just because of bad leadership, bad government and bad you know administration. But this time around we've been thinking PDP has been so bad in their dealings. We never knew PDP is hundred percent good uh, even better than uh, this present administration Buhari. Buhari is not even is not supposed to be called a president of a nation because the impunity is just too much. So many things, so many atrocities, you know, committed by either the government officials, the DSS, the police, the Fulani headsmen, the bandits, the Boko Haram. Buhari is just there because he, they are from his clan. They are from the Fulani clan. And in other words, if you are a government official and you are under this administration, you are in APC your sins are being forgiven so they kept on committing crime atrocities and doing all sorts no law is guiding them the only uh, constitution or the only law that guides uh, 
the Nigerian state is the one guiding the southern part of the country. Because if any southerner, you know, misbehave, you will be arrested. But if any northerner misbehave, they will you know overlook it just because they said they are the first citizens or first, you know, uh, first to be recognized in Nigeria. The Fulani are the first citizens. That is why the agitation would never stop. Would never, never stop because uh, Buhari and his cohort has made all Nigerians to believe that the Fulani people own this country. And in other words, the country is for everybody. Nigeria is for everybody. Not minding wherever you come from, either the south or the north, or you are an Igbo or Yoruba, does not really matter, or you are an Hausa. What matters most is we are one, and they are the ones preaching one Nigeria. But the one Nigeria is not circulated. Maybe they are just saying one Nigeria with their vocal, with their voice only. But the one Nigeria is not in action. Well, they should not release them. Hey, somebody said they should not release them. Well, I'm an Igbo man, but. A very stupid shame and foolish for making such statement that they should not release them. Hmm, someone said, Ogunko, kill you. Well, be lesson to all the strong air people. Nobody get power past the government. Well, Sunday Google put these people into trouble. That's what people are saying. Put them into trouble. Sunday Google never put anybody into trouble. Sunday Google never invited anybody to come and agitate. Everybody is saying what is happening in Nigeria. The suffering, the killings. The hunger in the land. So voluntarily, everybody has been agitating. You know, even if it's indirect or directly, yeah, agitating. But the bad administration and bad agenda of this present administration uh, would not allow you know Nigerians to hear their opinion because they don't want the world to know how evil and their bad agenda is. That is why they are arresting or prosecuting you know people that are telling them. The truth. Well, I am not surprised at Nigerian leaders and the so-called authorities, particularly the judges, who are at the helm of affairs. Bail ranging from 5 million to 10 million with illegal arrest, denied to see relations and lawyers for more than 25 days and nights, and yet have the God to say released on bail, so as not to violate their rights or what. The ultimate judge will soon judge you all without option of bail. So you are telling somebody that's true this person is you know bringing it to limelight now that you said they should not jump bail or you build uh, you release them on bail if you release somebody on bail he's not supposed to pay anything because according to the constitution like i said bail is free but as it is in nigeria bail is not free well some people don't even think before posting are they supposed to offering are they poor like we are it's capital and look at what they destroy in his house they are doing this for the incoming generation or upcoming generation what we cannot do to some people well so many people are laying their complaint and op sharing opinion if i leave this you know to the hands of people that comment we may not go oh and the time is you know fast spent well i would like you to share your grievance on the comment section and don't forget to share this news so that others can be aware thanks for listening and god bless you